how to form a present continuous tense how to form a present continuous tense verb now where is the focus the focus is on verb okay if a verb ends if a verb ends with e in order to put ing i'm omitting this one and then i have to add ing understand the first rule now for example write is the verb which i want to form in present continuous tense which i want to put it into present continuous tense okay now as i told you that if a verb ends with e we are omitting we are removing e then we are adding ing now if i want to at ing to write, so I am telling that that I am omitting e, then I just I am adding ing. Okay, this is very simple one. Writing. Second usage. Second one, right? Look in the second one. If a verb ends, if a verb ends in. Okay, in what? In first vowel plus consonant, 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 vowel plus consonant. What I have to do, I am doubling the consonant. I am doubling the consonant and adding what? Adding ing. Adding ing. Suppose this is the verb put. This is what? Put. Yes. There is a vowel plus consonant. There is what? A vowel plus consonant. But now if I want to add ing to this put, what I have to do, I have to double the consonant, then add ing. Yes, now how to put into the present continuous tense? Look, there is, a, there is a vowel plus consonant, then I double the consonant here, then I put ing, put it. Now, what is this? Stop? Stop. Very good. Now you help me. How to change this stop in present continuous tense form or how to add ing? Spell it please. S, S T, T O Okay. Double P Double P I N G. Very good. Because this one here we have what? We have vowel and then we have consonant. In order to form this one, we are we are doubling the consonant then adding ing. Understood? Yes. Any problem now? Yes. Very good. Okay. If you want to take it, just you can take this, please. 